Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome on this lovely Friday, the first day of March. How's everybody doing? Good to see you. Lane, Mark, good to see you. Good morning, Mark. Good to see you, Phil, Mike, everyone. John, Ben, everyone. All right, good. So what is today? Today is the first day of March, which means February is gone. I know it ended on a Thursday, but let me tell you, I was actually quite shocked what happened yesterday. I really thought that yesterday was going to be a slow day, but I tell you, we, we it was all like all in on all these stocks and you know, your typical day uh, when it comes to the market moving. And, uh, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about that. But before we get started, guys, uh, just really quick, just remember, uh, we um, I will be tomorrow uh, be joining the Brew Group for the American Heroes Anti-Violence inter Intervention, and in, you know, with, with all these traders and uh, with these great football players, guys like Ray Lewis and Clinton Portis and um, – you know, great performers for some underprivileged kids. So um, I, I, I actually just started, um, believe it or not, I'm still trying to get with the times, but uh, I did start an Instagram. So I will be taking some Instagram photos there. I'll be doing some live video capture. So if you guys want to see what's going on, obviously we're not going to be able to record it, put it on the YouTube, but, uh, but we are going to do an Instagram. So if you guys are um, want to go and in, in, uh, friend friend us on Instagram, go to Cyber Trading You, and uh, we'll uh, show you a couple of great little photos. And just trying to, you know what, just trying to give a little bit back to the community. You know, it, it's just, uh, you know, everybody out there wants to trade, and and uh, but some some underprivileged people can't. So want to educate these kids before they make bad decisions, and trying to help them out. And there's no better job I think than trading. So that's where, uh, you know, that's why they want me to come there and kind of talk a little bit more about it about finance and stuff. So um, we'll let you know about it. But in the meantime, let's get right to the execution system and see what's going on. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, John. Thank you, everyone. Now, uh, regarding about uh, what's moving in the market, listen, let's talk about some of the big winners that we had yesterday. Right now, we had that PHYI, and that is up 30% right now. We'll come back and check that, check that out just a little bit. But I want to just talk about one of the big winners that we had yesterday. Let's talk about Weight Watchers really quick, right? Weight Watchers. Wow. Was that incredible or what? That stock, all of us basically cleaned up and we're done within an hour and a half. And remember, this is why we do that. This is why we do that uh, trading because you could see right here, the stock literally went from 1920 and just did not stop. Beautiful Fausto flags basically everywhere. Look at that. Fausto flag, Fausto flag, Fausto flag. I mean, you could – even if you felt like you chased it, you could have got into the stock and still did great on that trade. So that was a very nice winner. And and listen, the, the point that we like to talk about what we traded yesterday is because we want you to know today's a brand new day. And it just keeps reminding you like, damn it, why didn't I jump into that one? Damn it, why didn't I do the Fausto one share rule? You know, darn it, today I'm going to change my, my style. Remember, if you don't trade, you're not going to learn. You know what I mean? And you're not going to get the glory of it. Listen, you're going to lose. And you can't be afraid of losing because losing, I always say, is a good thing because you won't do that again. But anyway, that was probably the, the one that really kicked us off uh, uh, for the morning and did great for all of us. Another one uh, to, I want to remind everybody that also had a huge bounce, which was the KHC. This one did the same exact thing. Stock went from 32 all the way to 33. Another very, very big winner. Uh, Faust is not showing his screen. Ooh, I don't know why that is, but let me bring it back up. It should be showing right now. Yep. All right, there you go. So um, the K the KHC had a really really good pipe uh, pop right there, right out of the gate, 32 to 33. wasn't a huge winner, but this stock was a 50 dollars stock. We looked for a nice little bottom fish, one of the first days up. I still want to keep an eye on this. The stock is going back on my watch list. All right, and by the way, guys, I got a pretty damn watch big watch list today, and you better make a commitment today. Every one of you better buy a, a share today. One stinking share. Time to get off demo trade. Listen, if you demo in more than two weeks, okay, that's too long. All right, so demo trade, I just want to explain to you, that only reason why you're on demo trade is to learn the platform, okay? Eventually, you got to go out there and drive the car. You're not going to learn practicing all day, all right? So anyway, and listen, I'm not telling you to trade like you trade to make money. Just 
trade a small lot of shares, 100 shares, one share. But, you know, you know, you'll learn more risking one share of stock than sitting there on demo mode. But anyway, this one's going back on the watch list. And another stock I do want to um, – couple other ones I just want to bring up one last one in the afternoon the uh, the PHIIK that one also uh, did great right at the close that stock took off uh, you could see went from 220 to 340 this one was just awesome cheap stock fun stock you know it was getting a little nasty though a little bit you know even that cheap little stock uh, had a little pop that one did uh, did uh, did some nasty shakes. But one stock I do want to point out that I did not bring up also, the last one is the um, is uh, Gap, GPS. You would never know that, right? <laughs> you think it's something with a GPS store. Uh, but GPS, uh, you could see that. Gap stores did came out with great earnings yesterday. And this was pretty fun in the after hours. Uh, you could see it did a little bit of a shake here from 25, and I think it just went to 32. Just a huge winner. Now, as of right now, party's over with it. Not really interested in it. There's a lot more out there to trade than this one right here. So we're going to go check it out. Uh, Gap is cutting Old Navy loose. Wow. Oh, is that what the news is? Wow. Shockingly. Shockingly, you know. Um, I, you know, it's uh, – let him – you know what? Spin it off. That's all. Spin it off. Listen, a lot of these brick-and-mortar stores – I really starting to realize. I mean, I just heard uh, Victoria's Secret is also looking to close a bunch of stores, you know. So it's kind of it's kind of getting tough out there, guys. You know, it's gonna get tough. So uh, margins are getting less. You know, government's uh, regulating them more, and you know, uh, minimum wage has gone up. You know, astronomical. They can't. That's probably the most expensive uh, fee when owning a business. So a lot of them are closing down. You know, so. Uh, Unfortunately, catastrophes do make opportunities for us. That's right. Amazon is, you know, really, really put a big wrench into it. I know everyone loves Amazon, stuff like that. And I was anti-Amazon probably like three years ago. But, you know, it's what it is, what it is. It's like, you know, social network. You know, it's that's what it comes down to. Anyway, let's go through the watch list because I'm not here to bore you about, you know, today's politics. I'm more here to talk about let's make money on a Friday so we can enjoy our weekend because I want to go home and uh, and have a fun weekend myself, just like the rest of you. So let's go through the watch list. Let's try to make our money early today. OK, what do you say? P B Y I is one that made the watch list. We talked about this earlier. The stock had great after hours news. This one, you know, listen, I always tell everyone. Be careful after hours. You know, no one here should be trading after hours unless you're one of my level three traders, okay? Uh, you got to be a little bit more advanced to trade it. But we did watch this stock. You know, we do the afternoon meeting, the uh, the, uh, the close when we do our recap and when Josh does it. And, you know, we obviously uh, got a couple of interesting after hour stocks. This was actually one of them. And it's still pushing higher. So I'm going to keep that on the watch list. It's a little expensive for me. Uh, surrendered the door vapor fast up. <laughs> I, I'll try, Ben. FNKO. Another one that's on the watch list here. This one is up a little bit nicely, 19%, 90,000 shares. Nice big iceberg order right there at 2390. Everybody see that 9,000 share seller right there? Okay, that would explain why it's having a little bit of a tough time breaking that. FNKO. Remember, guys, focus on those iceberg orders. PTLA, another one that's moving really nicely. Nice little push, you know, up 10%, 115,000 shares, breaking all-time highs, which is what I like about this one right here. Let me tell you what my favorites are right now. And remember, the favorites, you know, always, it always it looks, seems like they always kind of work out better than anyone. Um, I kind of like this one right, right here, the, the CIFS. This stock took a huge hit. Some of you remember this stock we traded a couple of a couple of days ago where it went from uh, this price right around here. What is it? Uh, I don't know, a dollar and it ran to almost four dollars. So, you know, this ICF, uh, this ICFS does move. It's got great, great, great orders out there on the matrix on level three. So want to keep a close eye on that one. Another one that I kind of liked a lot that's on, uh, by out of my favorites is this one too, VFF. Not BFF, like best friends forever, VFF, all right? So VFF has got a really nice push, um, breaking all-time highs. You can see there, not as many, you know, level orders on level three. 
spread you guys you got to be careful that is one of the hardest things that we teach you in phase one you got to focus on the spread spreads a little dangerous right here that's the only concern so i would wait till it opens up what everybody remembers what right what got crushed crushed look at this thing went from like 12 down to five well guess what it's up right now what do we what, what is my favorite type of trading bottom fishing so that's why i put watt on the watch list uh what else i got and listen i didn't go through the losers right now listen I, I still got a lot more to go and don't worry about writing them down i'm gonna put them up there for you ftc uh ftch another one up 20 percent. i'm telling you there's a lot of stocks moving today a lot of them you know this one nice little push your stock's been on you know once again i know we have some swing traders out there I know we have some options traders. What do I always tell you? You want to be a good, you know, you want to be uh, good at any of those. You damn well better learn how to day trade first, because what happens over the course of the day, which trickles into a swing trade, and you know, and this is basically you saw it happen in the day trade, and you say, you know what, the stock's got a good, good push. Maybe I'll hold on to it. Well, this one is obviously breaking higher highs, so this one looks awesome. I like that one a lot. IGC, another one that's on the watch list right here. Nice little push, cheap little stock. Stock, we, we traded it a couple of days ago. You remember this one too. Um, had a great run yesterday. It went from 220 all the way to 260, breaking a new higher high. A little bit cheaper, a lot more orders out there on the level three. That one made, I'm, I'm just telling you, there's just way too many stocks. I don't like trading wins a lot of stocks. All right, here's a stock. Um, taking a huge hit right here now let's talk about shorting don't be afraid to short you know what i mean i don't know why people get a little nervous on shorting but but before you do a short remember what i told you you know you better check and make sure it's an in inventory because sometimes you can sit there and like oh i got great short here's my opportunity next you find out that's not on your short list another one the khc this stock is up um you know 32 like i said this one i like too because it got really destroyed maybe it's a little bit of a comeback all right let's talk about the losers imgn imgn got decimated you want to hold an overnight position okay you want to hope you, well, you could hope all you want because this stock went from, from $6 down to $5. You can see it right there. And then all of a sudden, like, oh, maybe it'll come back. And then sure enough, look where it is right now, 240 So, uh, And it just broke a major support level. So see ya. All right. Be very, very careful, guys, of IMGN. <laughs> you want to hold overnights. You think, it's a, you think it's okay. You don't learn how to take a loss. Remember, that's a, that's really my ultimate job. What I try to teach you guys here. It's not how to make money. It's not really how to stop losing money. Here's another one breaking lower lows. Don't know if it's on your short list, but um, you know, it is coming. This only reason I like this one is it does got some support levels right around the three dollar price range, three fifty. I want to see if it holds right there. So maybe get a little dead cat bounce on that one too. Uh, NTNX, another one getting destroyed. <laughs> this is just unbelievable. Uh, it's still a lot of room. I mean, it's at 37. You got some support levels right here. Look, you worked so hard to make all that money in one year, and you lose it all in one day. You know, listen, that is the risk. You know, people think day trading is risky. They think it's the riskiest out of them all. Listen, that's not the most risky. At least when you know when you end in a day, you know what you, what you made and what you lost. This is what you have to worry about. You want to deal more expensive stocks? Yeah. Let me know how that works out for you. All right. Another one that looks like a pretty nice little short. Looks like a nice, gorgeous Fausto flag right there. But once again, remember, check your inventory and see if it's on your watch list. Um, once the other stock, um, everybody probably remembers NVAX, okay? We traded NVAX. NVAX got destroyed. Listen, you know, I'm not really a fan of stocks under a dollar because now you're dealing with pennies, you know, tenths of a penny. But uh, this stock trades a lot, a lot of volume. Um, you got to trade a lot of shares of it. I, unless, if you're a beginner trader, I'm t I'll be honest with you, just stay away from it. All right, it's not really something you want to mess around with. But, uh, but for for an advanced trader, just because you think you could afford it, doesn't mean you could trade it. And and then once again, guys, we don't trade penny stocks here, so just always keep that in mind. All right, anything I'm missing, I did not call out. Nick says, what about um, Visa? Okay, Visa, great stock, doing great. I'm not trading it. Why, everybody? I don't trade $145 stocks. Why? Why should I? Why should I? Listen, if your goal is to make, let's say, $100,000 a year, all you have to make as a day trader is 50 cents. 50 lousy little stinking cents. Okay, 
Why would I do that with $140, uh, $150 stock? I'd rather trade one of the other ones. That's right, Lita. It's way too expensive. And then you know what? This is, how, this is why I hate, hate options. I hate options with a passion for this one simple reason. There are people out there who say, well, of course you're not going to buy a $150 stock. You trade the options. You know, it's you got leverage. That's a poor man playing a rich man's game. Just always remember that. All right. If you can't afford the stock, you can't afford to trade it. Period. Don't go out there and think, well, you know, maybe this is a shortcut. I'm going to tell you a little insider, uh, a little, based something of a little insider on who makes money in options. You know who makes money in options? The guy that sells the option. Okay. And why would he do that? Always remember that. 90% of all options expire worthless. That's right, Wayne. And who are the 90%? Who's the 90% who benefits? The guy that sold it, right? <laughs> all right, everybody. So let's get ready to the market. Let's go. Ben's obviously more concerned about trading than, than uh, listening. So <laughs> that's listen. That's because that's where the money is right now. So guys, good luck today. Happy trading. If I don't see you in the afternoon, enjoy your weekend. Remember, trading's not a full-time job. It's a part-time job. So if you make your money early, go out, enjoy it, and enjoy the rest of the weekend. That's what, that's what you train for. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.